Hey everyone, this hand tutorial has been really requested ever since I've been wearing it throughout the past month and I haven't been able to get to it until now and I promised you guys I would get to it as soon as I got home. Uh, this is done with a hair straightener. I know there's another technique on how to curl your hair with a hair straightener than the one I use. It's just the way I did it is way easier, way simpler, faster. Uh, any hair tutorial I ever do will be really, really easy because hair is not my expertise at all. Um, it's probably at the bottom of my list, but I do do this a lot, and uh, yeah, I have a braid in it too. Again, it's the easy way to do the braid. I didn't French braid it. I just twisted my hair back and braided it, but you'll see that in the video, and I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, I had some trouble at first with my hair just because I use a heat protectant that straightens your hair and not curls it, so it kind of, the bottom layers aren't that curled because I only had it in the bottom layer. Uh, so, yeah, don't use cheat iron guard to curl your hair, because it doesn't work. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hey, so hopefully this is a good angle. I've never filmed in this kind of angle before, but, uh, I feel like it'd be a really good angle just for hair tutorials, so tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't. Um, okay, so for this hair tutorial... It's going to be really, really simple. All you're going to need is your hair straightener and some hairspray. Hopefully you have a heat protectant, bobby pins, and a brush for teasing your hair. So all I did was wash it and blow dry it, and I'm just going to tease it now. So I'm just going to take a small section, brush it up. And then I'm going to go like this. And now I'm just going to spray it a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, I have added body all throughout my hair. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. We'll add more later. But I just like to start out with um, having some, I don't know, volume to my hair because I don't really have much. Um, and now, to section it off, I'm going to take about this much. And instead of using a hair tie, I'm using a hair clip like this. So it doesn't leave um, any of the hair tie lines. Because usually if I use a hair tie, I'll have marks on my hair from where I use the hair tie. And make sure you spray heat protectant, or if you don't, I mean, I didn't for a while. It's not horrible if you don't, but I would suggest it. Okay, now I'm going to take a piece, like this big, brush it through. And again, my way of straightening hair is the simple way. I know there's another way. Um, this way works for me. Um, I'm not sure how well it would work if you have maybe really, really long hair. But um, if you have short hair or my medium length hair like mine, um, this will probably work. So I just take it and then turn it and go down like this. Okay, actually, I'm not sure why the first one didn't turn out that well. Um, I kind of just realized that I don't usually use this heat protectant, so I'm wondering if maybe this isn't a good heat protectant to use while trying to curl your hair. So, we'll be able to see that on another layer, because I haven't put in all, all my layers yet. So next layer I do of my hair, I won't use the heat protectant. Let's see if it works out better, because usually it curls really nicely for me. Okay, now I'm going to take the next layer, and hopefully, without the heat protectant, it curls a little bit better. And I'm going to take this layer right above my ears. And I'm probably going to put these bangs back, too. Okay, my hair is going to look really funny right now. Look at that. Okay. Okay, 
So hopefully, let's see if this works better. Yeah, that's kind of a better curl. So um, I don't recommend Chi Iron Guard uh, for a heat protectant for waving your hair because it seems to straighten my hair for some reason. I'll show you this side because it usually turns out better. So this side always really curls. I'll try to show you. Yeah, do you see how curled that just went? And also this works better if you wash your hair the night before. Um, you're probably laughing at how weird the top of my hair looks right now. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do for my bangs because it's a little bit different. Um, I'm also going to do this kind of braid thing at the end, but for right now, um, don't worry, I haven't like curled this part yet, but... Okay, so I just kind of get my bangs. Hopefully you can see. Then I take my hair straightener and I really lightly just turn it back. So it's like going away from my face. Um, I don't really try to get a curl in it. I just try to swoop it back. Now what I'm going to do is grab my bangs, hopefully you can see, and uh, twist them. Again, there are other ways to do this, like actually braiding it, but I like to take the easy way out, and then I grab a little bit of this one, and a little bit of that, and braid it. Now I take a bobby pin, if I can get it out, okay, here we go, and what I like to do is move some of my hair back and clip it under so you can't see the bobby pin, and then put that on top. Take a little bit of hairspray to get rid of the flyaways. <laughs> 